Sup, sup, everyone. And uh, this is a video I've probably pushed off for far longer than I should have. And I don't mean this to come across as ungrateful or just hating on this character for no particular reason. I'm gonna preface this entire video by telling you guys this is a very, very personal reason. And I would to a degree argue that everybody has a character in their account or not in their account that they have this kind of feeling for. And for me, that is Jean. When I say Jean is my most hated Genshin Impact character, I want you guys to try and watch at least for another minute so I can explain to you guys why that is. So let's just begin, all right? To kind of break this down, I don't think Jean is a bad character. However, saying you don't like a character is a blanket statement where a lot of things need to be clarified first. Why do I hate Jean? I hate Jean because it reminds me of a period of when I used to play Genshin irresponsibly. And I think at this point, people who watch my content already know why. But people who constantly ask me like, Walrus, why do you keep saying you don't want to play Jean? Why do you refuse to build Jean? Why don't you bring Jean into your party? And I want to highlight you guys something as well. Jean, uh, is the character that I have the highest constellation for. She's at C5. No other standard banner character I currently own is at C5. All right. And Kaching is the second highest, I think, along with Chi Chi, if I can find her. All right, C4. Yeah, I remember this stuff. Mona and D look are, I believe, C1. So we're not going to even look at those. So Jean is at C5. The reason I hate Jean so much is because Jean was the one that always ended up screwing me over. And I think at this point, people to some degree can resonate with me, but there's going to be others like Walrus, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're missing out on. And trust me, I know what I'm missing out on. All right. I, I don't know why I'm like this. I'm just a person that uh, I guess to a degree, I don't want to accept the reality that I've made some of the worst decisions when I first pick up this game and i don't know how many of you guys watching me are spenders whales or whatnot but you must have at one point in your life wanted something so much that you were willing to go above and beyond and for me when i say above and beyond i mean around 2500 dollars right and that's what i dropped back in patch 1.0 now i did not get gene all the way up to c5 in that one sitting a lot of it was spent on the standard banner which ended up being aquila favonia's skyward harps and whatnot but you know of course i couldn't get zhao's weapon as well which is just another scenario for salt in the wound and that's why i think it's in part i don't play zhao very much is because i don't want to relive that period of my genshin timeline how many people here have spent irresponsibly not just on Genshin, but in general. And, and when I say spent irresponsibly, I don't mean like you have to waste thousands. What, what, what about that extra uh, coffee that you had? What about that dessert you ordered, which you really thought you need, but you couldn't finish, you know, and then you ended up wasting it. it it's that kind of thing that really gets to me when I'm talking about. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't believe at any point in my entire Genshin journey have I ever... Uh, relied on Jean because I don't think I am out of that pit just yet. I don't feel like I'm comfortable facing the reality that uh, I was so blindsided by my desire for D look that I was okay dropping 2000 plus dollars on this game that I really at the time didn't even know what it was about. And I think to a certain degree that I wanted D look so much to the point where eventually when I got D look, I finally came to the realization that I didn't want D-Look. I wanted the sensation of chasing after D-Look. Like, that's what I felt like. Because once I got D-Look, I played him for like one patch and I haven't touched him since. People, it's absurd how essentially I tricked myself into thinking I want D-Look. And it, it, of course, it has this effect of being that D-Look was a popular character back then. And everywhere I went, people were flexing their D-Looks. And I had the means of getting him. So what essentially I'm saying is I tried to get D-Look to maybe in a desperate attempt to connect with other people. 
And once I got the look, I realized literally no one cares. No one cares that you have the look. No one cares that you have Jean. No one cares that you have Hu Tao, Ganyu, Ayaka, Raiden Shogun. No one gives a shit. So now I'm sitting here and every time I open up my account, if I go through my characters, I look at Jean, I always kind of just take a second to think about what, what I've done to myself and how meaningless chasing these characters based on their popularity and med meta is. And I've shared this in stream, but I just get people um, talking about this a lot, asking me a lot, and I just can't answer every question. So here's my honest answer to you guys. If you guys ask me who is my favorite character in the game, it's going to be Kaching for personality. And just she holds a special spot in my heart for being my first five star that I both pulled and built up and carried me through the entirety of my early to mid game for Genshin Impact. My most hated character in this game is Jean. I think Jean in my account represents the worst part about um, both me and a lot of other gacha players or people who are addicted to these kind of loot box uh, games or just gambling in general is that objective ends up being the most exciting and anticipated part. It, it, the truth is, getting the character isn't the best feeling. The best feeling is the build-up towards getting that character. And for me, that was not a pleasant build-up. It was an terribly agonizing and excruciating experience. And I know people, not just in Genshin, who have absolutely regretted spending money to get a character and i'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video right now if you had the means you would probably drop some dollar bills to try to get that character that you really really want with that weapon that you really really want and i can guarantee you that in the long run for me one year is a very long time there's a lot i can accomplish in a year and i feel that given one year a lot can change for you maybe one year is not that long maybe five years is a long time maybe 10 years is a long time but i guarantee you whatever you deem is a long time from now it's not gonna matter it literally won't matter right the, the achievement of whatever you can do in genshin it doesn't matter so when you think about it that way is it really justified right i'm not saying don't spend money i'm not saying if you really enjoy this game don't drop like five dollars a month for the welcome moon or the battle pass if you think that it's going to help you out but what I, what I am saying is the five star characters the five star weapons you don't need them and the game for the most part doesn't force you to have them they encourage it but they definitely don't force you and i think that's uh, one of the pros of playing genshin impact and i hope this really clears up uh what everybody has been asking in regards to why i hate gene so much all right to kind of summarize gene just reminds me of the time i lost control gene in her current state is an embodiment of my biggest mistake when it comes to my approach to these kind of games and i'm not gonna lie i've made this mistake in the past as well and i am just human i'm human and i desire things and in that pursuit it's also a great poison i guess that i also have the resources to achieve and obtain these things in the end i never ended up getting d look uh, during my 2500 wailing session because i was finally able to pull the plug and just kind of stop myself dead in my track afterwards the clee banner came out and that video is still on my channel to this day where i believe i wailed for Klee and I wanted to get the look when I lost my 50 50. So, if you guys are interested, you can check that video out. It's a very early video, it's probably my third upload uh, when it comes to Genshin videos. It's such a old video, but I, 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 I don't have the courage to bring myself to watch it because it's so close to the time uh, of when I wailed for Jean. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this uh, answers everyone's questions. I don't hate Jean because she's bad, I think she's a great character overall. I think she has a lot to offer, and I actually recommend some people play her but myself i refuse to touch her at least in the meantime until i figure uh this out and maybe overcome this uh dark past that i kind of have for myself in this game all right so till next time urge you all to stay safe and peace peace